Good morning, everybody. We got the Illuvium dev blog for October 2020. Aaron Warwick wrote this one, as he does with all of them. And we're going to jump right into the intro. So basically, it says there's taking a step back, slowing down a little bit to improve what they're doing, to really have a triple A experience, to have the best products out there. And the last sentence says it really good. October was about maturity, taking a step back and deciding where our focus needs to be and how we can get through this next period of many product releases without going insane. <laughs> so basically, they want to have... They don't want to rush anything, right? Illumium is about AAA, best, best product that they can produce and put it out there. And stuff like this needs, needs time. Quality needs time. So they're just going to slow down a little bit to just ensure the best quality that comes out. And we have time, right? We don't, we're not stressing. We're going to be around here another, another 20 years. I think everybody of us is still quite young. Nobody's like 90 years old that I know of, of my viewers. And <laughs> like, it doesn't matter if it's out next month or in two months or in three months. This game and this IP... And this whole project is going to stay around for 15, 20, 40 years. And we're going to have it for the rest of our lives. So we don't need to stress about like, oh, no, you said last month, but it's going to be this month. Like, who cares? Like, <laughs> you, can play the, you can play the beta already. Stuff is coming and it's going to, you know that it's going to be the absolute best quality. Illuvium is just putting out the best triple A in every aspect. No compromises on that. So we don't need to stress about release dates all right everybody drop some love in the discord tell them how much you love them how much you enjoy the project how much you believe in them and we don't need to know when it's gonna be good all right so <laughs> with that out of the way we're jumping into illuvium arena people on lower end machines can now play the game at a much higher frame rates since the new release of the new patch 0.2.2 .2, which was released like two days ago overall quality of life in the Luvium arena while playing it has been improved so i'm really stoked about lower end machines like improving the performance lowering electricity bills because i run on solar power so i need i need that <laughs> Uh, side note to Mac users like Aaron himself, this update will be rough. So I've seen already some bug reports from Mac users. And they could have shut it down for Mac because it's too buggy. But they decided to allow use Mac users to continue playing. And they hope you can help us with the bug reports. So yeah, all, to all the Mac users, get out your pencils, write all those bug reports down and send them in. They need them. Uh, Ascend amount is still in progress, uh, but they're already play, playing through it internally and we will have lots of fun when it's going to be released. New additions to the team in Arena have hit the ground running. Like they joined the team and were already in full throttle, full going because of the modular style that the whole development team is approaching. Like they want to have, they want to they take a little bit time now produce all those blocks to work with and later on you can just use a block and put it in there and just reuse stuff right freshly if you want to do a new project or a new something you know what i mean so the highlights basically the performance has been improved bug fixes all around perfect so Illuvium Overworld, we're closer than you think. Internally, we had a meeting to decide if we would release Overworld 0.1 in October. That was last month, ladies and gentlemen. So eventually they decided to push it back just a bit as we polish some areas. So we're just, it's upon us. I think next month, December, I th that's just my personal thought on it. And internally, they're already getting complaints that Taiga Boreal is too big. Like, these maps are massive. They, they're huge. A drop from a giant waterfall takes about 20 seconds to reach the bottom in Taiga Boreal. Like, 20 seconds, you're just flying through the map. And there goes so much. I can't even imagine how much work they must go in in bug fixing and polishing and development. The whole thing for every level of every overworld level. It's insane. It's going to be so good. Soon we can play it. 
Um, additional features won't come with 0 0.1, like we beta testing. For example, we just have the collection mechanism fighting illuvials and, and capturing them. And we then can give specific feedback for this for this uh, part of the game. We won't have all the parts yet. Same with Arena, right? We have now Survival Arena. Next we get PvP Survival and so on. So it's going to be step by step. Don't expect like the full overworld yet. It's about testing, right? We're getting small parts, we test them, we give them their feedback, get improved, and then we get the next thing to test. Everyone else needs to realize that these things take time to get to the eventual state that lets us finally say they're not in beta. Yeah, right. Exactly. So Illuvium Zero progress is going faster than ever before. We bit off a lot, but this small team choose quickly. <laughs> It's a funny analogy. So yeah, they. I think they were a bit fast to calling it like when when the land sale was going on. They they were saying like, all right, you're gonna have a fully fledged game when it comes out. And then they realized, wait, this we have the game ready for all the land sellers, but it's not perfect yet, and we need perfect. They wanna have perfect all around. So now they're in the game, the perfect idle clicker or whatever it is. And they're looking to release it on PC and Mac instead of WebGL to speed along the alpha. So they're still trying to speed it up, but not under uh, compromising any of the quality, right? The quality will be high end, AAA. That's it. And that's why it takes a bit longer, but they're almost there. Uh, Android is planned too. I think Apple phones have to wait a little bit longer. Then we're jumping to the Illuvi decks. I'm just jumping over the Illuvium website. There's not much going on. Basically, just uh, safety Im implementations. That's what, like, it's migration to a more secure platform. That's the highlight I see there. And then we got the Illuvi decks, which is already really good, right? From the land cell and everything. So there's not much work being done on Illuvi decks. We're already on version. 2.0 and they're working on 2.1 and yeah Illuvitex is ready to rumble for the Illuvitars and all efforts have moved to the Illuvitars which we're gonna go over right now so I want to just read the whole thing because it's amazing you've seen a lot of leaks recently so anyone watching closely knows how rapidly this is developing Illuvitas represents our most ambitious web product to date it means that many teams coming together and that is always a challenge some 50,000 plus hand-drawn art files allow us to deliver billions of combinations. There are cinematic level... We committed to a complete Layer 2 event on IMX so that you don't pay unnecessary fees or experience slow response times. There is an entire web app aimed at gamifying the collection aspect. You. Sounds amazing, right? 50, more than 50,000 hand-drawn NFTs to be combined with each other for billions of combinations. With cinematic level cards, reveals and bonding and all of that stuff. It's gonna look so good. And all of that without any unnecessary fees. We're gonna be on layer 2. And it's not gonna lag or anything. And there is also the whole process of collecting them is gamified with our collection uh collection part collection aspect so uh, it's gonna be amazing we're also talking to some of the world's biggest brands about launching limited edition promo discs soon after the sale so by the way i've had an interview with kieran warwick and it was absolutely amazing it was so much fun i put him a bit on the spot with some questions and he leaked a little bit about if you haven't checked that interview out yet i put it in the description below check it out after this video it's it was so much fun i can't wait for the next one so and what aaron says right here that's the only thing that highlight in this whole text i'm proud of the product that means a lot coming from aaron right he's very tough like all of the warwicks they are super tough on themselves about like to quote kieran it's it's dog shit <laughs> like usually it's dog shit until it's perfect that's I'm proud of the product means a lot like he's he's really like uh, 
He has. This this means a lot, and <laughs> I'm stoked. We will love it. He says, "I'm sure we will." And a little highlight: what we said earlier, the purchase, bonding, and unwrapping of the discs. All of this. The flows are in a great state and it's gonna look so amazing. It's gonna give you the feeling like when you caught a Pokemon back in the days on your little Game Boy and then it evolved. And the evolve animation, how it was like shifting and it was the best thing and it gave you like just thinking about it gives me a good feeling inside my, inside my tummy. And something similar will happen with all of this stuff and also with just catching and combining Illuvials and all of that. It's gonna be so good. Uh, about play and account, no significant updates on the play app. Alrighty, Illuvium launcher. Negotiations are ongoing for a third party launcher while we build our own. So this is really exciting or interesting news, I'd rather say. First you had the watch and Warcraft and Hearthstone and all of that and then suddenly that stuff so and this kind of exposed all the Blizzard community to all the wa Modern Warfare community and the other way around so that's gonna be a nice thing they're getting a lot of exposure and it could also save a lot of time but it's not yet sure if that's gonna happen and I would really like to know who the third party is that's really interesting no updates on the launch cinematic you don't want to be spoiled anyway merchandise store uh, most they have completed much of the work and we are now near completion so they're doing great job in the merchandise store it's gonna be crazy we're gonna have plushies and plates for the illuvials and illuvitars first of its kind web free functionality we're gonna have all of that in an online app designed on desktop tablet and mobile and it's gonna be such a great experience like this is gonna be crazy all the the merchandise like imagine having a plushie of your favorite alluvial like ugh. and then a plate of it too like the bonding you're gonna undergo with your new pokemons it's gonna be insane like imagine we had that with pokemon you catch a pokemon it's actually yours you can trade it on the marketplace like it has a real market value if it's a rare one, like if you catch a shiny one, for example, and then, like, it's yours. Poster of it, like a metal fucking poster with... And a plushie? Nah, it's it's crazy. It's so good. Uh, so that's... Doesn't really hit us too hard. Lot of optimization going on in the back end basically <laughs> then we come to the story which it it's really amazing to read about it read that world building specifically regarding the various factions and sub factions in the civilization symbols religious customs and the like so there is so much going on in the story we don't by reading this i realize how little we know about the stories like they're gonna be factions and sub factions and religious customs and symbols and civilizations like it's crazy we know nothing about it and it's gonna be such a huge story so i'm super excited for that more story writing going on email rpg campaign currently in progress i don't know what that is if you know let me know i've asked around in the discord nobody seems to know uh the lore is getting flat for weapons and items illuvial profiles so yeah a lot of story and writing stuff which is gonna be amazing like this gives you the feeling of you need to read all those beautifully written story elements and profiles and whatever so coming down to the summary we're gonna just read it as it is because it's really good i'm so excited so that's aaron talking not me right I'm so excited about the products we have coming. I had the same feeling just before re we released Staking V2. Back then, people knew there would be improvements, but without having them in their hands, it was hard to understand the benefit benefits. There were also many things going on in the background to ensure safety of your assets and was quite possibly the most complex contract in DeFi to date. 
we hit the bytecode limit multiple of times and had to optimize it to fit it all in. Great to hear. Safety, safety, safety. That's one of the most, if not probably the most important part in Web3, right? And the current state of product in the pipeline feels like that. Illuvitars has hundreds of times more hand-drawn art than the next best product on the market. We're talking about a system that allows art configurations on par with assets only seen in leading AAA card games. It makes sense since some of our artists have made art for Magic the Gathering, among others. The work required to support that with an interactive collection game is massive and we're doing it while we build out three titles. It's a lot. Yeah, remember, we got three fully-fledged AAA games coming, and the Louvitors on the site, and the land sale, and all the trivia and community stuff that's going on. Like, it's insane. So bullish. <laughs> I'm glad we have a fantastic community of supporters. We know you will enjoy what we build, because what we release to you will make us proud. So that's a really important part. First of all, thank you for all the support that I've received and thank you for all of you that support the Illuvium community, like the, the core contributors and everything. It's really important, right? Just drop a nice word in the Discord or like just bring some positive vibes and it's gonna help so much. Like people get so much energy from positivity. We know you will enjoy what we build because what we release to you will make us proud. That's what I said earlier. If Aaron says this product makes him proud, it means a lot. And that's their approach with most of the stuff. They, they don't want to compromise on anything. The quality and everything, every single aspect has to be perfect. And that's why I love this project. Like I'm, I'm fully convinced. Like I don't care when it comes out. I know when it comes out, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be perfect. And that's all I care for. I care about the project, not about the timeline. But talking about the, uh, <laughs> about the, <laughs> what a segue. Talking about the timeline, we have a release order right here, which is always nice. There's no dates anymore, just an order. So we got private beta one overworld. Next, then we got the merch store. I don't think it will come out for Christmas, but that's all right. Then we got the Illuvium Zero Alpha. After that, we got the news hub. Then we got the long awaited Illuvitar sale. So we still got some time to stack up some SLV2 for that. No financial advice. Uh, then we got the private beta free arena, which will be PVP, player versus player. We can host tournaments more easily and it's, uh, it's gonna be the best. That's the most the, the thing I'm looking forward to most after Illuvitars. And then at the end we got the launcher, which doesn't bother me too much, but I guess once you wanna release the full game, we need a launcher, right? So yeah, that's all the patch notes. I hope you had fun going through them with me. I hope, yeah, I hope you have a nice day. I see you tomorrow. Peace out. Bye-bye. Adios. Ciao.